Hi everybody, I have a few concerns. Most of us have been locked up in the house for more than a year, and the ones of us who were working were dressed head to toe in protective gear. So we have not been exposed to the normal bacteria and viruses that we normally would in the course of a year. And you know, I've always said, if you don't use something, you lose it. And I think our immune systems are going to be shot um, across the board. Not only that, but we've been wiping down surfaces. Everywhere you go, you're wiping down. We've used so much hand sanitizer, so much you know, sanitation everywhere, which was good. We needed to do that. But I think this year coming up, we're going to see maybe some other um, infections that we hadn't seen or seeing our bodies respond to them in ways that we hadn't before. Already, I'm starting to see that in the office. I'm starting to see kids who are coming in with 102 and 103 fevers. And of course, you know, we're thinking, ah, it's corona. They have a little cough, headache. They feel bad. And I do all the tests for corona. It's not corona. Guess what it is? It's rhinovirus. Do you know what rhinovirus is? The common cold virus. Yes, it is knocking people on their backs. Um, and kids usually don't, you know, I'm talking, I'm not talking about babies either. I'm talking like eight, nine, 10 year olds who, you know, have a developed immune system and just might have had maybe one or two days of a head cold. They're having fevers. Some of them are getting admitted to the hospital with pneumonia. And what I'm concerned about is the same thing is going to be, I'm, of course, I see kids, so I don't know what's happening in the adult population, really. But um, that's my main concern is that these things that we normally would have fought off, even little, like when you scratch a little bit, and if you have a little staff or a little strap on your hands, your body takes care of that. We've been wiping surfaces down. And so our normal flora um, and the good bacteria that help fight off the bad bacteria and the bad, you know, the, the fungal infections, I think those may be compromised. So watch out for that. Um, the other thing that I'm concerned about is that all of these, um, all of the people who have received the coronavirus uh, vaccine, you know, in my last video, I talked about how they're walking around all invincible. Well, certainly it should help prevent you from getting coronavirus, but there have been some breakthrough cases and we know that you'll get a flu shot and some people might get the flu in years in the past. But the point is you're not going to get it as badly as if you had not been vaccinated against it. My concern is that people who are vaccinated may have a breakthrough case of COVID-19 and they won't know it's COVID-19 because they might just have a little bit of a stuffy nose, a little bit of a headache, maybe a little ache and pain. And they're all going to think it's allergies because you know, that's all adults do. They never admit to a cause. I said, my allergies, it's my allergies. It's just, allergies it might be corona so i'm afraid that people are going to walk around they're not going to get a test because they're going to say well i've been vaccinated it's not corona but it is corona and then you're walking around sneezing all over the place talking about it's allergies at the cookout so be careful you guys this is our memorial day weekend the kickoff of summer um, so just be careful out there and if you're sneezing or coughing you know, be considerate. If you're not going to go get a test, at least wear your mask around the folks, okay? Be safe out there. Peace and love.